December 6th to everybody out there. Only 19 more days till Christmas. Hard to freaking believe. Man, time's just flying by. Anyways, we're going to come at you here with another reaction video here on Metal Bent Reactions. Here on Metal Bent's Chronicles, of course. So without further ado, we're going to get right into this reaction. The band is Warlord from Los Angeles, California. And we're going to go all the way back to 1983. From their Deliver Us EP, we're going to check out the track, Child of the Damned. Let's check this out. Heard that track. 
And this would have been a long time ago now, too, probably 20 years ago. As I sit here and think about it, at least 20 years. Maybe longer, maybe 21 years. And it was around 1998, 1999, I bought Glory of the Brave by Hammerfall. And they actually did a cover of that track. At the time, I thought it was a Hammerfall track until I read, you know, the lyrics. It's all written by somebody else. Then I looked it up. And here it's written by a band called Warlord. And I thought that was pretty interesting, so I looked up the, or yeah, I checked out the Warlord version, you know, afterwards. Yeah, man. Anyways, killer early heavy metal track, man. You can definitely hear where metal was heading throughout the 1980s in this track. It has a strong new wave of British heavy metal vibe to it. I guess you could say in a, in a way kind of a predecessor to what thrash metal would end up sounding like to an extent. You know? I mean, this is only three months removed from Kill Em All, you know, which would come out in July of 1983. This came out in April of 1983, if I didn't mention that before. But yeah, tons of double bass in this track. Um, definitely a predecessor to power metal, too. The European power metal, you know. But yeah, this is very good U.S. power metal, you know. I've always been more of a U.S. power metal fan anyways compared to European power metal, even though I do like some European power metal. But to me, I think U.S. power metal is very underrated. There's so many great U.S. power metal bands that came out back in the 80s. I mean, I could just list bands like, you know, Armored Saint, Jag Panther, Omen, you know, Obsession, the list goes on and on. Agent Steel, you know, Steel Prophet, Iced Earth, you know, the list goes on and on, like I said. Like I said, excuse me there. Now, this is a very good track, you know, it's got great speed to it. Definitely typical of the time to a track about the end of the world. And about evil. You know. But yes, very good track. I definitely recommend any metalhead to check out Warlord. You know. And definitely check out some more old school heavy metal bands. You know. From back in the early 80s. Because there's a ton of great, you know, U.S. power metal bands. proto thrash bands. You know crossover thrash bands from that time period and of course the new wave of british heavy metal you know so if you're a young metalhead definitely go back and do your research on this stuff it's well worth it you know you'll learn a lot you'll hear a lot of cool music you'll hear where the evolution of metal came from pretty much when it comes to metal going in more extreme territories throughout the future you know but anyways, that's my little reaction to World War Child of the Damned. Of course, this is a 10 out of 10 track. Alright guys, keep it metal and stay tuned for more.